Hey guys, welcome back to another video. After reviewing Alien Zamu, here is uh, the next figure in my collection. Today's figure is gonna be Gakuma from Ultraman Tia. For his history, uh, he this is the male Gakuma. The there was a female one in. There was actually a figure of the female Gakuma, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of rare because I try to find one on eBay, but um, it's pretty kind of hard to find. Kind of like Leilance and Fire Goes Up. But anyways, let's put that out of the way. Let's go to this history. Uh, a couple of miners were mining in a cave until one, of the, one gets distracted by something what appears to be a horn, and when he sees it, he saw two giant eyes open and the horn that he was staring at turns him into stone and it started the miners and Guts was sent to investigate and the miners then tell Guts that that legendary monster named Gakuma lives in lives in the caves and they say that they've seen Gakuma with one horn but then the others say that they saw Gakuma with two horns but then after that the Female Gakuma comes out, also known as Gakuma Alpha, and begins to attack Guts and the Miners, but Guts managed to defeat it. But after that, another Gakuma, which is the one we're looking at, comes out and attacks them as well. And Daigo transforms into Ultraman Tiga and battles the monster, but then the monster uses his horns to turn Ultraman Tiga into stone, until Ultraman Tiga turns into power mode and and beats the living crap out of Gakuma and turns him into stone and that's just about it for Gakuma's history for detail it's okay I guess I mean he does have these gold spike inks on him I'm not sure what this why he has these br this brownish color on him also the horns here it's Nicely sculpted. There's a bit of scuff marks there. But the eyes, though, I'm not sure what to say about them. It's pretty, pretty um, weird. So, yeah, texture on this guy and paint job is great. For articulation, uh, it has um, five. The arms rotate, the front legs rotate 360. And so do the uh, back legs. Same thing with Gomidi's head. Um, Gakuma's head is an oval shaped, but because it's soft vinyl, you could actually rotate it 360. So, yeah, that's five points. Now for sizing, let's compare them with the most famous Trintiga monster in the series. Goals up. I say this is um, accurate. I mean, I know Gakuma is supposed to be shorter than Goza because uh, he is 15, 58 meters and Goza is 62. But yeah, it's accurate. Now let's try out Daigurai. Uh, this is also accurate. Right. Um, let's try a uh, exam you. This is also accurate. Uh, let's try Monsgar. Or Monsager. Uh yeah, this is also accurate. And for rarity, um, he is a part of the TA series, but he's not an extremely rare one like Fire Goals on Leylons. Well, I'll try to get Leylons soon. But yeah, he's not extremely rare. He's moderately rare. So history's brief detail is okay. Articulation's good, sizing's good, and rarity is moderately rare.
So in the end, I'm going to give this figure a uh, 9.5 out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time.